What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> the date! 12 May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? I'm gonna send you up against the best. Yes, sir. I like you because you're unsafe. That's right. I'll right after. It takes a lot more than just fancy flying. Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis. <laughs> Top Gun. Top Gun was released on May 16, 1986, and today marks its 35th anniversary. So, does it hold up? Yes, I am talking about Top Gun. I heard about this movie quite a bit, and how it was the biggest movie of that year, 1986. Because, okay, what is this movie all about? I was looking it up, and it's like an action slash romance movie. I thought, oh no, romance. And luckily, I like the film. The movie is a lot of fun, especially the music, Danger Zone, and Tigma Fur 4, and just the guitar riffs throughout the whole movie was perfect for the film. Tom Cruise as Maverick, and the young as Tom Cruise is kind of weird. I've always seen him as the Mission Impossible guy, so seen him and this is like oh yeah he was uh, you know this is him back in the day and having this relationship with this teacher the student teacher relationship with a much older woman very taboo i'm assuming that, that was a big sell in this older woman younger guy sounds like a porno to be honest but either way fun stuff romance stuff again i'm not really a rom-com person so anytime you dive into romance stuff in the film i was like damn it and then charlie plays the love interest but also help aid maverick getting grief over his dead friend goose comes back around because he is the hero now he was the best pilot so we've got maverick his friend goose charlie the older teacher we have all the people in the fourth and I think that's it. This is actually a very simple movie. Thinking about it, it's very simple. The other guys, the ice character, basic hazing Tom Cruise being like, you're not a good pilot. You're reckless. You're not a team for your own, which is a big issue with Maverick. He just kind of does things on the fly. He doesn't listen to the rules whatsoever, but what's great about him, he doesn't really listen. But it's like these characters are there to basically haze them. But by the end of the movie, Maverick has proven himself to be a very great pilot. They learn to be like, hey, you know what? Let's embrace him. He's a great pilot. Now they want to work with him. That's really the whole point. Maverick proved himself that he's indeed best, the best Top Gun and the greatest pilot of all time not only to himself but to ice people higher up and charlie herself and then goose so he's got a friend named goose he has a family and whatnot and i'm assuming it's like a pair of contrast to maverick he's a much younger guy he has a family he has a wife he's got kids and so i'm thinking hey, what is all this for they're all having a good time he invites charlie in there but it's also like driving force for maverick he blames himself for the death of goose and so now there's a family out there and a mother with all who's all alone with their kids and there's a father figure whatsoever because of him and so this is a driving force for maverick so that he can become the best pilot honor goose and his death and his whole family and then Charlie herself. I didn't mind the whole thing with the whole teacher, like the younger student stuff. Again, very taboo, very like porn like. But whenever it got into like whole relationship stuff or romance stuff, I was like, no. But one thing I did like is when Take My Breath Away, the instrumental came on. <laughs> like that song i like checked out whenever the, the whole relationship stuff started out i like missed that out she goes away basically encourage him to be the best pilot leaves kind of start with the third act back around he's a bit known as the best pilot ever both have an interest in that brings them together and then maverick himself earlier it's weird seeing him this young i always seen him as that old guy who does crazy stunts in mission impossible movies so seeing him in this role was a lot of fun there's that one singing scene where i did i was like oh god this shit again it was a funny scene but it's like god damn it i was explaining a lot of aircraft plane stuff by the way those were decent like, i wasn't amazed by them to me it just felt like they were just kind of there because the movie is about airplanes and aircraft up in the sky sequences and whatnot so i checked out but i was like okay, this is cool i guess it didn't amaze me at all but the aircraft stuff does hold up it doesn't look bad again movie camera 86 i thought are the aircraft sequences gonna be you know are they gonna look good you know 35 years later they still look really damn good it holds up it's just not a thing that i'm like intrigued in whatsoever i was like okay this is here for sequences sake and so again maverick's attitude is doing things on a fly doing things on his own he pisses off his first boss and like a flying school help a friend because his friend has like a panic attack during flight so he aids him with very low gas boss doesn't like it so he says him top gun which i think is a really cool name top gun i don't know why when i heard this movie top gun i don't know i just thought it was a cool title name top gun being as like the school I was like hey it's kind of cool but either way he's in a top gun the best of the best immediately makes friends eyes and the new boss he gets yelled at again he didn't listen goes to boss's house talk about basically encourage him because he needs this encouraged talk there's quite a bit of like talking to me like you know encouraging you those are needed like i said earlier because of this attitude and this sort of cycle that he has it causes his friend goose to die causes his family a lot of pain and so because of that it's a driving force and the last aircraft sequence he actually proves himself because he has something to prove that's the whole point he's doing all this being cocky every once in a while he wants to prove the fact that he is indeed the best pilot the best of the best in top gun and so he proves that to i the boss charlie everyone around him he's known as a hero now he just now needs charlie and charlie comes back in the end they both reunite and then that's how the movie ends it ends in a way where he gets everything he proves himself and gets everything. like the happy and perfect ending for this movie so yeah i don't i'm not in love with this movie i appreciate like 
especially the aircraft sequences, those look, those hold up quite a bit. Those look good. Everything else kind of seems, I don't know, kind of there. These things could apply it nowadays, but I don't know. I just didn't fall in love with it, but I do think it's a fun, good movie. Just with a little too much romance stuff in there. This is not my cup of tea. And the best part about the film is the music, Danger Zone, Take My Breath Away, everything about the guitar riffs, like I said earlier. Fantastic. And I think just adds to this movie. It's really bobbing my head just listening and being like, yeah, this is some good ass music. I don't know. Maybe just me. So Top Gun, 35 years later, still holds up. Still a good, fun movie, but it just isn't my cup of tea or just not my thing. So that's it for me. This has been The Book So Far. Thank you for watching. Thank you.